Hello everyone. Welcome back to this channel. We are going to solve this question we have on the board. And the question is, consider the following steady incompressible two-dimensional velocity field. And that is the field we have here, the equation we have here. And we are to find whether it is rotational or irrotational. And also to sketch the streamline in the first pattern. So, this question we have here is in two forms. We are first supposed to solve or find whether it is rotational or irrotational. And to find whether it is rotational or irrotational, we are going to use this long formula we have here, this differential equation we have here. And also to sketch the streamline in the first product. It means it's supposed to be positive. Okay. So, um, we have some information here which will help us eliminate some of the, um, the variables we have here. So we have steady, we also have incompressible and also two-dimensional, so it means it's in the x, which, is, which has been indicated here, it is in the x and the y coordinate system. So in this equation, we are going to eliminate those with the y coordinates. So we have one here. So this is going to be zero. This is also going to be zero. So it means we only have this here. We only have this velocity field in the k direction. That's what we have here. So we can have the formula to be half partial differential of v dx. minus partial differential of u dy in the k direction. So we are going to use this formula here to get our variables here. So we know that we want to find for, um, let's, let, let's first uh, write it in the u and a v components. Yeah. So the u, we have this as our u, so that's x squared and our v we have it to be equal to minus 2 x y minus 1. So uh, what do we need? We need partial differential of v dx and the partial differential of v dx it means we are going to differentiate this with respect to x the v side so this implies the partial differential of v dx is going to give us when we differentiate this with respect to x, we are going to get minus 2y and the partial differential of u dy means we are going to differentiate this with respect to y, which is going to give us um, y, which is going to give us 0. So we have the formula here. We have our variables here. We are going to put them into the equation. So we have half, and for this component, we have minus 2y. And for the next component, we have 0 in the k direction. So it means omega is going to be equal to this cancel now. So I'm going to get minus y in the k direction. So we get in this, it implies that the fluid is rotational because we didn't get it, we didn't get our answer to be equal to zero. If we had gotten our answer to be equal to zero, it would have been irrotational. So now we move on to the next question where we are to sketch our streamline in the first product. So first we have to get all the variables or we have to get our table which would help us draw our streamline graph or our streamline curve. So we know that what we are supposed to find for x 
we know why we know our you we also need to know our v we are supposed to also know our magnitude which is u squared plus v squared all of them the roots and we are also supposed to know tan theta is equal to v over u we are supposed to know this too. Okay, so um, in order to plot your graph, you have to get certain values. So we are going to get our points or the values we need. So since we are supposed to plot the streamline on the first quadrant or in the first quadrant, we will need the x and the y to be positive. So we we'll start with let's start with the highest first. So let's start with four. Then maybe let's plot three of that and for three to the same. For two to the same and for one the same. So for y we are going to get 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So for our V, our U, we are supposed to use the same this as our U. So the X square of that, so we know that this is going to give us 16, 16, 16. This is going to give us 9. So this is how it's going to be. And we do the same thing for the V. And we compute our U squared plus V squared or is the power half. And we find for our our angle 2. Okay. So this is the computation you you get. So now, if uh, my points, the, the points that I'm giving you, I'm giving about 12 points. So if you want to get about 25, you would have to increase your repetition. So maybe you increase it by 5 or so to get the 25 there. That means the 4 will be repeated 5 times. Then followed, followed by the 3, 2, and 1. So now we would like to plot this on our graph but my graph will not be drawn to scale so you bear with me so this is my graph here yeah. this is my 0 0.1 2 3 and 4 I have one here 2 3 and 4 so this is my x and this is my y here. So let's try and get some. Ah, so this is my graph. That I have here. So we'll start with one. Or oh, let's start with the top. Let's start with four. So four, one. So on my hands, I will have four. Y axis, we have one. Right? So this is where it's supposed to be. And what's the magnitude? And what's the direction? The magnitude is 18 points. 36. So I would like to scale it. So 1 is to 10. So 1 is to 10 meters per second. So it means whatever our plot here is supposed to be um, divided by 10 here. 
So now we have um, the first point, which is 18.36, and the direction is 29.36 in the negative direction. So for you to know whether you would plot it maybe this way, either going this way or either coming down, you can use this here. Since this is your y h, we know in the partition plane, we know that um, this side is the negative y direction, which means the arrow must go down, right? So we will have something like this. 29, so it should be. So using the right to dance your protractor, you are supposed to get that. Yeah, so let's get something like that. Then the next point, which is 42, which is just above it, and its direction is 46, negative 46. So negative 46, so something like that. So it follows as such. So we move on to the next one, which is um, 3, 1. So 3, 1, what's the direction? Negative 37. So around the same point. So we are just going to get something like this. So this is what you are going to have. So since my my point or my plot is not drawn to scale, we are going to get this. So we should move in this direction. Sorry. But I shouldn't touch the x axis. So you draw with your free hand. Something like that. So this is how the graph is going to be for this type of question. Thank you very much for watching this video. I would like you to subscribe. Also like and share the videos and also comment if you need any clarification.